Well, you know, it's fun for us because we shot here. I was here for nine months last year. So it's really nice to be back. And I have to say, I've been to this festival many times and it's usually cold rain or snow. And it's actually really nice here tonight. So it's a good night. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the first film I directed was Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, and we showed it here, and, uh, and uh, Sam Rockwell won Best Actor. So it was a, I have a great fondness for this festival. Well, the best is the actual Monuments men and what they did and how brave they were and when they didn't have to be. Um, and the most fun part of it was telling a story that I didn't know and I think most people don't know, which is rare. You don't get to do that all that often. Really great, really great. This is the one we've been obviously looking forward to because we made the film here and so, um, you know, we've had this one marked on our calendar for a long time. So it's really exciting and, and it played well to the press today, so uh, that augurs well for tonight. You know, they're some of my favorite actors um, and I hadn't worked with any of them except for George and then Kate, who I got to work with again, which was really great because she's, she's, she's one of a kind. Oh, well, it's just getting started. We were just getting started. Just a couple glasses of champagne. Now we have got to go see this movie. You know, a lot of, it's a lot of pressure. George is a jerk. We hate George. Everyone, look over there. That's a lot of people that don't like George. And as a director, well, George is very organized. George is very cheery. George is very thoughtful. George is good. It's made for film lovers, I think, because it tells a real story, a really big story. It's got big scale, it's shot by a great uh, cameraman, great cinematographer, so it's going to look great on that giant screen in there. And it's got a bunch of goofy movie stars in it. I love it here, I love being screamed at, uh, and I love Berlin. I think a good time and a good story, and uh, maybe they'll want to little, know a little bit more about stolen art. Oh yeah, I'm thrilled, I'm over the moon. It's, a, it's an honor to be here tonight with a such great actor. It's fantastic because, you know, we shot the movie here, most of the movie here, and, uh, and Berlin was very kind to us when we were staying here last, last spring and summer. Um, and so it's fabulous to be able to bring it uh, and present it here as the European premiere. They're all lovely apart from George Clooney. He's a, he's a very problematic soul. And, uh, you know, he, 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 he has these rules that you can't look at him before lunchtime. And, um, you know, he's a very unpleasant man. Um, but, uh, but apart from that, everybody else is lovely, particularly Bob Balaban. It's a movie that is, uh, it's, a fa it's an endlessly fascinating story. When I watched it for the first time the other day, uh, I, I'd forgotten how much I didn't know about, about uh, you know, the, the history of the Second World War. And, and that's really what this movie touches on, is, is this important you know, fact of, of the importance of culture in our, in our society and the value of art. Uh, it makes it, you know, art is an expression of who we are and to preserve it is, is essential. Whether it's uh, worth the risk of life, that's one of the debates in the, in the film. But uh, it's, a, it's a good adventure and it's a fascinating, uh, really untold part of the Second World War. It's very exciting to be in this movie. First of all, none of us knew the story of this before we got involved with, with the movie. I know a little bit about it, but had no idea that somebody existed called a Monuments Men. And then I'm to get to be one of them is rather an honor because these are unsung heroes from World War II who got sent to Germany towards the end of the war to rescue all the art of, of, uh, of Europe, basically. And they were very successful in doing it. And very few people know about them. So it's very exciting to be involved with this project. I mean, amazing atmosphere. You know, everyone's turned up and like um, lots of people here. And I think it's exciting for the film to come to Berlin, um, film about the Second World War. And obviously Berlin being a place synonymous with that, um, I think it's really exciting. And um, yeah, and of course, I'm an amazing festival. So everyone's really excited to, to bring it here and, and yeah, show it to people. Yeah, yeah, you know, and a little intimidating. All, all them actors are people that um, I respect them and, and have these amazing bodies of work. And so um, working with them is, is, it's a great experience. And like, um, you try and play it very cool, but um, no, and they're lovely guys, um, all of them. So yeah, and obviously amazing people too. Obviously being an actor as well, um, he's really good with the actors. He knows exactly what he wants and he's able to get that from, from the actors. He's very clear in his direction. It's a dream. Uh, you know, we shot the film here, so to be able to present it to the, uh, to the, uh, to, to, to this city is fantastic. It's a great feeling. Everybody's great except for George Clooney. He's very difficult, and he's, he gives everybody a lot of trouble. You know, it's uh, it's about something important. It's about it's about art. It's about uh, finding art and uh, repatriating art, and uh, particularly in, in this this city, in this country, it's a really meaningful film.